I wanna know you You told me how your ex tried to control you You're missing out on everything I showed you I'm here for you any day, baby, like I told you I had to show you Don't want a floor store or a dealer I love your vibe, baby, you the realest You let my pictures by your tap You even start following me on Twitter Don't press the brakes hard when you're turning Press on it hard or when it's swerving Lord the wheel when I'm driving my knees That's how we sliding out in these Germans Hope you're all well, hope you're all good. Keep us sorry here, keep us sorry cooks. Hope you enjoyed last week's episode or the last episode of Nathan Ferguson. But today we're going to be joined by a very good guest and a close brother of mine, Alvin the Pirate. Yes, yes, yes. How are you saying, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. And yourself? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Good. Today we're taking it back to, to our, our origins, going back to Ghana. We're going to be cooking a very good dish that's well known around the world. Jollof rice, we're going to be whipping it up. Put some flavors in it, you're not gonna see the end result. So yeah, let's get started. You left me, I tried to know you. You told me how your ex tried to expose you. You missing out on everything I showed you. I gave you everything now I don't. So first I prepared um some chicken wings and fries. Yesterday I, I seasoned it yesterday so we so we could save a bit of time. As you not can I don't think you look can see can you not see here? And I'm gonna tell you what products I used to really, you know, get the seasoning going to really infuse it. Yes, sir. So first I started off with some ground ginger, some complete seasoning, a bit of aroma, what else? Some paprika that really gives it that, you know, the, the really jerky sensation, the white ground of pepper, curry powder, and of course the salt and pepper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yeah. So obviously jollof rice is a very good dish you can have by itself. Obviously we're going to be topped off with some chicken on the side and some plantain. It's it. It's pronounced plantain, not plantain. The Jamaicans in it, plantain. So yeah, we're going to just get it together and then show you the end result. So firstly, I'm going to start off by, of course, washing the rice to get out the starch, etc., etc. So yeah. As you look so I just washed the rice. Now we have the stew and rice. I'm gonna add the stew into the rice. I'm gonna thoroughly mix it and then set the stove on a maximum level of minimum level of three five so it doesn't burn the bottom of the rice. So yeah. We got this one now and the chicken's in the oven. The plantain only takes about five, ten minutes, so I haven't seen my boy for a long time, so I'm just gonna sit down with him, catch up, ask some questions that you don't want to hear, and literally just just catch up really. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So you know, I'm gonna sit down, you know, close to my hip, but take some time. <laughs> I can't move my feet for too long. But yeah, Arvin. Yes, yes. What do you like to do in your spare time? My spare time? Yeah. Alright, so training finishes about let's say 12 1 and we've got the rest of the day mm. to do. In Spain there's a thing called siesta. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into it, but in my spare time I'm playing FIFA, Netflix and you're not good at FIFA though. Oh. <laughs> you won't. No, you've never beat me. Oh, you've never beat me, so you never beat me. So that's what I do. Oh. Netflix, FIFA, sleep, you know, and spend time with the Lord of course. Yes. So, yeah, let's go into the Lord. So Arvin, yeah. I know we're both Christian brothers, we pray, we pray together, we pray things like boys in God. So talk, talk us through, like, for someone who's not really into faith, what it's like having God by your side? Uh, having God by myself, yeah, it's really important in my life, you know. He's helped me uh, through flick and thing, you know. When I'm down, he's there for me. When I'm, when I'm, you know, when things are going right, he's also there for me. He guides me through, you know, the, 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 the right things and the bad things not to do, you know. So yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for like, that in his life and the relationship that he and have it. It's, it's very it's very powerful, so yeah, perfect. Obviously, um, when you was at Forest, obviously coming through, we had a very good age group, you know, yeah. very top age group. Um, a lot of boys still playing now. Yeah. Um, but what was it like making your debut with like the players that you played with, and then literally in your home city? What was it like for you? Was my debut was against Burton. Mm. And, you know, great, scored. grateful to the Lord that I scored, you know, I was in yeah. shock, but I was losing, but, you know, had to get the ball out of the back of the net and quickly run to see, because we had, like, five minutes additional time to see if we can score again, but, yeah, grateful for that, you know, and, yeah, it was a, it was a great feeling. That's good, that's good. Um, so, internationally, 
you you play things on the youth and so <coughs> what, what what was the like highlight moment for you in, uh, yeah, international wise? It was either making my England debut like, on the on the fifteenth yeah. or the the goal. UEFA, the goal. Yeah, the goal. <laughs> goal that one. I love the goal here. Yeah. Against goal. Italy, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was a great feeling as well with the fans and then, of course in England. So yeah, mm -hmm. it was either making my debut or the goal against Italy in the UEFA Championship. So yeah. Obviously, I speak to you quite often, and I know we got to. Um, injuries have been a little blip for you at the start of the season, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. But, you know, obviously, I'm recovering from my own my hip one. Obviously, I'm just praying to the Lord that He guide me through this, and I know He will. But talk me through how to help other people from getting injured. What's the prevention? What do you need to do to look up for? Because people need to know that football's yeah, 24 true. hours. Like yeah, you can't rest, literally. Some of you may not know, but. The start of this season I had a small operation and my stomach was really difficult as I was really prepared for the season you know, that I need to play but was, in, in life things happen mm -hmm. that you you know you can't you can't you know change. And this injury like really helped me mentally, you know, stay strong, you know. And I even got closer bond bond with the Lord, you know, with this injury and it's made me mentally strong so you know I'm grateful for what I went through the operation for people going out who, who are young who let's say have a small knock or an injury and out for like three four months you know uh, really focus on yourself and, you know take time in something else like say reading a book reading the bible make sure to read make sure to read to gain recovery as quickly as possible eating good that's that is a number number one tip for you lot eat good yeah. your cup no, no carbs, not too much carbs, <laughs> not too much carbs, protein, yeah. vegetables, fruits, yeah. drink water, etc, etc. That's for sure, that's sure. And obviously yeah. in England a lot of people are starting to go abroad now. Yeah. Obviously I think there's a pathway there, as there is a pathway here, but what would you give advice for a youngster wanting to go abroad, what would you tell them? You have to be open to wherever you're going, mm. open to the language, the language, the culture, you know, and that's really it, you know, with a positive mindset, you know, always, I have a thing saying, I have a thing that I always say, PVO, which means positive vibes only, so yeah. You know, and it's been 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna give it a nice stir, you know, to really mix in the flavor, so we can really infuse it together, you know. <laughs> um, as you can see, the set aroma is intensifying really good. The flavors are intense. Intense, <laughs> Yeah, you lot, I'm taking it easy today, you know, on the crutches. Don't need to, don't need to really cook, he's doing everything. No, because I wouldn't be in the food. You wouldn't beat me. Impossible. Impossible. You beat me? Perfect. Yes. So I'll have the 10 minutes and I'll give it another stop. Perfect. As you look and see, we're rocking the same teas today, but it's no coincidence. It's Car Sicko, one of the best brands. <laughs> what are you dancing? One of the best brands out at the moment. It's going to be something big in the future. You lot, check it out. Car sick, oh, got some mad pieces coming on, on on the way, so yeah, check it out. Link in bio, yeah. So, Keith, I have a few questions for you. Um, yes, sir. The first one is um, on a day to day basis, what is your go to meal after training? Go to meal has to be this jollof rice and chicken, bro. Bossy, I can't lie, you know, I don't make jollof rice because I leave that to my mum in it. But if I'm not at home, it's quick and convenient. I like, I like the salmon pasta meal. Um, that one's very good. The one on your yeah. website? Yeah. yeah. Or I like a prawn, prawns, meal, something like that. Yeah. Second question. Keith, what do you do in your spare time? My spare time? Um, everyone knows that I'm quite like busy. I try to stay active, proactive. Especially with this injury, like, I can't just stay at home and just do nothing because obviously football tip has its mental, mental things that can happen to you. But um, try to stay busy. So I wake up, pray. Um, I'm always watching football. I love football. Me too. So, and being injured, it shows you how much you love football enough. True. Because you think about it every day. True. But I'm learning French, so, je parle le français. Oh, bonjour. Je suis ta père, je m'appelle Keith. Hey, Chante. My French is alright, to be fair. Um, what else I do? I like to pray. So, obviously, I'm working on this project as well, Keith, so I cook, which I think is. It's good to do, but yeah, I just like to stay busy. That's all I do. Final question: yes, so Who is your role model in life? It doesn't have to be a footballer. Yeah, it wasn't going to be a footballer, but 
Um, I've always said to you, Pat, that I just like the way he he used his voice to just portray life and what, everything that's happened. Obviously, he had his trials and tribulations, but he came through the end, and people still remember him now for what he is. So it's got to be him. Two pack, yeah. Two pack, Shakur. Mm -hmm. well, leave it for longer. Let it be dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of you may like it, some of you may not. And it complements the, the jollof rice. And if you are thinking of a drink to eat with your jollof rice over that water, um, this super malt, you know, is what's non alcoholic malt beverage with vitamins, you know, minerals. So, yeah. Malt. It's basically Malt. it's basically like a dessert. It's very heavy. Yeah. Drink on the side, you'll sleep for at least two hours off. <laughs> yeah, that's As you look can see, the finished piece, the jollof rice, the left, the yellowish orange colour. So yeah. Now we're gonna move on to the chicken. As you can see, you can see the sizzle. That's ready to eat. We're gonna set up the table and then we're gonna see the you know, the, the end, the end part. As you look, you can see I'm making the salad, <clears throat> which is really important for, you know, health components in your body. Avocado, lettuce, cucumber, and I'm going to finish it off with a French salad dressing to, to add that, you know, that sour in it. Ooh, I choked. Again. <laughs> Can't forget avocado. It's got bare good stuff in it, and it just tastes really good. So as you can see, we finished cooking and doing the dishes, we're very proud of ourselves. We've got the jollof rice, the chicken, the plantain, and the salad here, you can't see it. So yeah, I think it's time to now just enjoy it. We're going to be joined by our two, two friends, Alvin's bro, two brothers. We're going to be joining us, we're going to enjoy it together. So yeah, I feel really happy with ourselves. Our two boys have joined us, they've got the easiest job, just they're just gonna eat the good food. But yeah, before we before we eat, we've got, got to do one thing, and that's for it. So Ivan, just do. Um, Father Lord, Lord, I'm so grateful for today, Lord, that I'm here present with my brothers, Lord. Father Lord, I'm so grateful, Lord, that you have provided us with this food. I pray, Lord, that you bless it and sanctify it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's eat, boys. It's not my fault, Ultra made me do it bro. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode, I think it was very good. Good to catch up with my boy Arvin, I think the food was top notch, jollof rice at his best. Better than Nigerian jollof, obviously there's a big debate but we showed today who's is better. But Arvin, it was a pleasure seeing you my bro. Thank you bro, pleasure having me on this show. Make sure you like, comment and sub subs. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment and subscribe, that's it. Obviously you choked, but like, comment and subscribe and there'll be better content coming up soon. You lot, see you later.